Hey friends, welcome to the part 55. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Many people have passed the certifications using these contents. So there is also an option to click the join button below this video or in the description there is a link. Go for Cloud Kernel membership. It is the cheapest one. So let us look at this question now. In the comment section, I am also pasting the link of this playlist. There are n number of videos, so many questions to practice, all real questions. So you know, if you are buying a product made in China, what happens? In the initial days, it works well. After some days or weeks, it stops performing or becomes, you know, kind of low, slow. Same thing is happening here. You had EC2 instance. So, for example, this EC2 instance, you had this. It ran for six months and now it is giving you latency issues. And they have also found out that the CPU utilization is 100% during business hours. So, they want a scalable solution. Obviously, if your CPU is 100%, you 100% utilized, you want to scale the compute. So among the solution, you know, I found a stupid solution, elastic IP address. So how will IP address help you with scalability? So elastic means it will be a dynamic IP address for very useful for computing when you are creating uh, auto scaling. So it's very useful that time. So it is like you read this line, it is allocated to you. And once you are done, it will be released so it will be elastic like every time you get a new ip but this will not help you to scale up the solution now let us look at c the purpose of route 53 is to route end users to internet applications basically consider this as your team lead client gives the work your team lead routes it to different people in his or her team so here we don't have this routing problem okay this will not solve your scalability problem the problem here is you are a team lead you have four people and all four people are occupied during peak hours so that means what you need you want to add fifth sixth seventh eighth people based on the quantum of work so how will you add you will add using scaling groups so scaling group has multiple ec2 instance multiple and the main purpose is automatic scaling that means see in our question we have one ec2 instance why one because here it says an ec2 instance okay you see here an ec2 instance that means one and it is its compute is fully used so it's obvious you will have to add at least one more ec2 instance so you need auto scaling group the best part of using this group is it has built-in features like health check replacements for example one person in the team became sick for and sick for like 15 days automatically your team lead will uh, ask for a replacement for the time when this guy is unavailable so a is your answer see option b see global accelerator why we use for high availability high performance and it makes use of global network aws itself has uh, its own network and it has lot of data centers so the data travels through that network so what is the use case if you want to improve your network performance then you use it so that way it will not the request will not route through internet and and get delayed because of internet traffic it will get routed through aws's own network that is a global network that is one of the biggest advantage and uh, you know what um, this kind of stuff netflix applications like netflix or amazon prime they benefit out of it because they want speed 
here in this question network is not a problem the problem is compute scalability of compute so b is wrong so let us lock this answer so i have given enough justification hope you got the justification and understood it clearly so use these videos go through all of these questions what will happen at the end is it the concepts will not be in your brain it will be in your blood when things go in your blood you will never forget in your life see there is a service okay which will monitor cost and usage for unusual cloud spending so why is this used in real world all these questions these are all real world questions why it is used in real world see we already suppose you planned for three ec2 instance and one rds database and you know together probably it will cost you say three thousand dollars in one month per month three thousand dollars opex now suddenly you you get a bill of ten thousand dollars in a month okay what will happen your boss will say boss i will pay three thousand only remaining you pay seven thousand dollars so now you end up in a very difficult position that is why always plug this feature use this feature to continuously monitor unusual cloud computing instead of getting a bill of ten thousand dollars the moment you see unusual cloud spending it will immediately alert that day itself that some idiot is running something extra which will screw you up see that is a problem in the cloud world you 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 know it you will have to continuously monitor your costs on premises you could do whatever you want okay you run one report 1000 times nobody cares here if you are you have a silly a report developer and he or she runs the report 10000 times in 2 3 months you, are, you you pay end up paying a lot of bill man see option a tells you to use lookout lookout is a service which will give you anomalies with the metrics whatever kpi you are using no? in this question you want to find anomaly with cost and usage here metrics does not mean cost and usage it is about any machine learning metrics where you get false positives so it will reduce false positives for you and those those kind of things so this would be wrong now b the aws budget is just a budgeting tool you can create one excel sheet for a household what do you do you create an excel sheet you say for groceries i will spend this much for utilities i will spend this much and you plan it and then you say okay in a month i will spend say four thousand dollars okay now it that's it you have created a budget that's it there is no monitoring going to happen whether you have run your family in four thousand dollars or you exceeded or you, you only spent three thousand it will not monitor here you need a tool which will monitor continuously monitor so budget is wrong c says use cloud watch now what does cloud watch monitor it everybody knows cloud watch monitors monitors resources of aws like what compute storage these kind of stuff okay so basically cloud watch will not help you monitor cost it never monitors cost so see cost now we are left with one option that is cost anomaly detection see this will help you this is a feature designed okay see it is a simple three step setup why evaluate your spend anomalies okay for all aws services you can do it individually also for for example ec2 instance just tell me if i ended up spending more or you can do it at the account level or you can do it at the tag level you know these tags you can do it at the tag level it will dive deeper to better understand your cost drivers okay so probably in the first month you might first or second month you thought it will run in three thousand dollars but you you understand okay realistically it seems to be five thousand dollars so then you can define your budget also okay five thousand is the real figure so this is the flow you create a cost monitor you see this cursor here you create a cost monitor and you get alerted you will get an alert that your cost is going beyond limits and then you can then analyze the root cause behind the anomaly and then understand see there may be genuine reasons some 
there may be a valid load that you need to run which you probably didn't budget it so then you can modify your budget you can augment your budget and uh, you, you now know that for example you can increase your budget now because you know that realistically this is what i should spend so this would be my final answer see when we are working in the microservices world we call a lot of apis so this question is about api calls it is telling which service will help you track api calls and user activity what does why do we track user activity in real life we set this up we track user activity why because we want to know each user what this guy is up to uh, what this guy is doing okay uh, so how we can use it clients use it like client says okay hey you know tcs guys i have four tcs guys now let us see what this tcs guys do whole day uh, can they find it out oh very well they can they can go to the user activity and they can very well find out at least okay you accessed glue it will tell you that these guys access glue and they ran these jobs they created a report in quick sight and those kind of stuff they can track so for like it services people you know it it is your productivity can also be tracked using this user activity the options you see you know this this organization see organization is wrong organization why do we use to organize organize what to organize a party to organize a rally you can organize your resources you can centrally manage your resources see typically imagine amazon.com they must be having so many so many resources they can use organizations to centrally see what resources i have and manage your environment as you scale up see when you have just started small no even if you don't use this you can still manage okay if there will be no hair fall but the moment you scale up thousands of services hundreds of services you will start having hair falls so much of tension to manage so use organization for that this will not help you with user activity api calls now b configuration see config we know it is used to audit configuration so many times you know what happens in my real life when i working on, on projects so uh, i am on a ec2 instance i am running something and suddenly i feel that uh, this guy is performing very slow why did someone change the configuration so i go to aws config i can use the audit uh, to just see who changed the configuration when they changed it so that is so easy in real life we use it actually here we are not worried about who changed the configuration of ec2 instance or rds we are not worried about that now cloudwatch see we use this to monitor it is just like an additional pair of eyes continuously looking at the resources in aws and applications so it will keep collecting data uh, application data resource data it will keep collecting why we use it for operational performance using alarms automated actions okay and it works with 70 aws services okay it will not help you with api calls track api calls it is not meant for it will watch but track it it will not track these user activities for user activities you have to go to say cloud trail so this what it does is it will help you enable operational and risk auditing auditing means what happened see a hack happens suppose in real life we use it a hack happens now we we have to do forensics just like a murder happens now you will take the dead body and run forensics on it so this is a dead body for us okay. ec2 instance got hacked your website is on ec2 instance it got hacked now we will go to cloud trail and see who logged in when those kind of stuff so actions taken by user like user activity this is this is logged and it will also events include actions taken by management console as well as apis that is what our question is asking apis so this is my answer see in the microservices world we build multi tier applications uh, websites applications so on so these are all loosely coupled applications we you, there are n number of api calls being made it is very important to understand which user made what api call and so on now if you have not yet subscribed please do so you can go through the comments of this playlist 
so many videos are there uh, many people have passed the certification okay so don't wait to start a cloud journey this is your moment this is your time this is the initial part of the year make this a goal and complete this certification and we also keep posting uh, contents in the members area cloud kernel so you can click the join button below this video or the link in the description uh, become a cloud kernel member a very small premium and you gain access to so many important questions and knowledge tidbits so stay tuned stay focused focus on the concepts do not mug the answers you have to focus on the concepts till it gets into your brain and post that there will be a stage when it gets to your blood so you will never forget it